Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to another day of the daily fitness and triathlon training vlog. It's day 947 in a row of working out. My name's Goldie. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. I just worked out and I'm here to talk about it. Today is the start of an adaptation week, basically in the world of triathlon training. A smart way to progress through your program is a kind of two step forward, one step back approach. It helps your body kind of recover, catch up to the inundation of volume that you are putting on your body. And that's basically done on like a weekly basis. Two weeks increasing, one week take a step back. It's nice, not only physically, but mentally as well to kind of know that you don't have these daunting <laughs> workouts ahead of you. As you saw previously in the, uh, the vlogs, the last two days have been really intense. I woke up tired today and uh, didn't feel like doing it. And we're gonna talk about motivation here in just a second. I'm just gonna cover the workouts I did real quick. Uh, started off with, it was a chest and arms workout today. Nope, it was shoulder and arms. Started off though, I got I thought it was chest because we started off with 100 push-ups, basically to just activate those muscles, get you going, nice total body functional workout to get it going there. And then we transitioned to a lot of shoulder presses, upright rows. We did some barbell standing shoulder presses, a set of 20 and then five sets of 10 after that. And then some superset with some arms towards the end. I uh, can see here, this workout is a killer. I challenge you to try it as an arm finisher. 10 chin-ups, 15 body weight dips, 45 second rest, and do five sets of those. It'll get you. That was it for uh, the upper body workout. Then we transitioned to the pool, obviously, just got out. And it was a relatively easy 2,000 yards today. Uh, about a 500 yard warm up. The main set were six 150 yard sets. The first three were in zone three and the second three were in zone four. Uh, and then you finished up with uh, three 200 yard sets with the pull buoys, just straight pulling. After a shoulder workout, finishing a swim, just straight pulling, getting those shoulders nice and uh, exhausted. I feel good, happy to have it done. But I wanted to talk about motivation today because I know a lot of people out there struggle finding motivation or keeping motivated. You start strong and then you kind of lose it along the way. And my secret is having goals. I think this is a good thing to talk about on a Monday morning because Mondays I see as kind of like a mental reset almost on a weekly basis. New Year's comes around and you get all excited. You join a gym, you list out all your goals and then by June, <laughs> even by March sometimes, you know, you've kind of given up on it. You've kind of lost the vigor of the excitement of the, uh, the goals that you've set for yourself. I think having a goal in the first place, for me, having races is what really motivates me to keep pushing and to keep going hard. I have a wild finish to the year here. The national championship for triathlon in Atlantic City in September. The Waco Half Ironman in October. Um, I'm also doing a Spartan race in October, the High Rocks in November, and then I'll be trying to break the Guinness World Record for fastest half marathon dressed in full football equipment in December. A lot of crazy stuff coming up. That's what keeps me motivated when I don't feel like going, when I don't feel like doing it. I just tell myself every day that you miss or take easy is a day farther away from your goal. You don't want to take steps backwards. That's kind of my secret is just keeping a hardened date in your mind. Everything is boiling down to that September 12th race that I have in Atlantic City, um, or September 15th. <laughs> so keep that in mind. If you're having trouble finding motivation, set a goal for yourself and look at that goal every day and remind yourself why you're waking up early, why you're dragging your ass to the gym, and uh, you know why, why you're doing all this. So that's it for today. Thanks for following along on the vlog as always. These are starting to pick up steam, which I think is kind of cool. If you have any suggestions of stuff you want to see, let me know. I'd love to, uh, you know, deliver it to the people. <laughs> I hope you find this entertaining. Again, I'm just have so many ideas. I want to get going with YouTube. So subscribe to my page. I do a lot of gaming stuff to just be silly, kind of get to know my personality a little bit more too, outside of the vlogs and my racing IRL stuff. So thanks for following. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, like the video. Any interaction really helps me out quite a bit and a lot of work goes into this on a daily basis. So until tomorrow, you know I'll be back. The streak's alive at day, 947 days in a row of working out. My name's Goldie. I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and I'll see you tomorrow. 
for another daily fitness and triathlon training vlog.